Thank you everybody for joining back in. We are playing Ostriff and my name is Axfield. I'm currently on the fifth episode and we are checking out Alpha 5. And uh, if you are new here, please feel free to press the like and subscribe button to follow the series. I'm going to do a 10 episode series uh, just to go through everything. Building uh, kind of like a compact town as you can see here. So I've got my houses that goes all around this little square over here. Which uh, is kind of like my town square. So I've already built the town hall over here. And then I've got the public school here with the little yard. There's some trees there and there's little chairs there where the people can sit on. Um, so it is coming together quite nicely. So I want to try and do as much as I can in today's episode. I'm currently collecting some extra stone. Uh, I've got 2000 of each, uh, the normal stone and then the limestone as well. So my intention is to get the production going um, for the shoes. Uh, it's quite a... Uh, extensive production line so uh, you need a lot of resources to ju just to set up the production line <clears throat> so the next thing I need to do is to build the lime kiln so I'm very close to having enough stone so I might as well start doing that and uh, I think it's a good idea to just place it close to the the stone mining uh, campsite here and uh, just kind of like uh, uh, keep a little bit of a space open there for the for the road in between and uh, I think they need to come in through this side. So I'm going to place it like that. Keep it in line with each other like that. And uh, I'm going to do the lime cone over there. And uh, I think it might also be a good idea to build a second forestry on this side. And uh, maybe some charcoal cones here. Um, because we're going to need that uh, for the lime. Once they fill this limestone cone with all the limestone, I think you need quite a lot of charcoal, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, you see, so they produce the quick lime from the limestone and the charcoal. And uh, they do use a lot of charcoal, I do remember that. So I'm going to also place a platform here. Um, so they need the platform to collect water. And uh, I think this might be a good area to place it. Not too far. There we go. So I'm going to place that one as well. And uh, I've got currently two people working at the forestry, which is fine. Uh, but then I'm going to assign two people to work on this side as well. Just to clear all the trees on this side, because I want to extend the village towards this side. Okay, so... Maybe... I don't know which would be maybe yeah okay yeah I think this would be a good spot let's just do it like that okay I need people still to settle in here so we should expect a family to come at any given moment uh, because I've assigned another worker yes oh okay it's already full in any case let's just assign another one over there so that we can lure a family in I'm gonna fast forward this whole process Okay, right, then after we've produced the quick lime, we're going to go to the next process. So after the lime kiln and we've got the quick lime, we're going to have to build the tannery. So let me just see, where is the tannery now? Yep, alrighty. Yeah, so we first need the lime works, sorry. Okay, so we're going to have to build the lime works here, close by. So that is the idea. Um, let's place it maybe like that, I think, if we can. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to just do it like that. Maybe rather this way. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, this will, do, this will be better, I think. So let's just leave a little space there. Okay, so we're going to have the lime works, and then after the lime works... That's right, then I'm going to need uh, the tannery. So this is the shoemaker over here. And I want the tannery to be close to the shoemaker. I see the child has been born. Um, I haven't had any deaths in the village yet. And I'm currently standing on 89 villagers. 
So it's a pretty good start. <laughs> Usually I get a few casualties with or a casualty within the first three years. I'm just checking off where I'm going to place uh, the tannery. Don't want it to look too cluttered. I suppose this might be a good space. Looks kind of nice here, so I'm gonna just go ahead and place it over there. And uh, then we've got pretty much everything we need uh, for the shoe production, or rather the leather production, but uh, we do have the shoemaker as well. So I can start producing the shoes. You can see my crop fields are doing very well. Uh, I've got quite a few cows here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 cows at the moment. 1, 2, 3. Is that right? 4, 5, 6. So it's 8 now, actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, it is 7. Okay, sorry. Okay, so we've got 7 cows. I need to get it up to at least 20 so we're gonna have, run, have 20 livestock in each cow shed i want to also look at building another cow shed so then we're gonna produce enough milk um, for the dairy farm or the dairy building um if they just call it the dairy and we're making the butter cheese and smetana They didn't make any smetana yet though. Any case. Okay, cool. Let's see what we can sell or buy on this side. Uh, I think I might need to buy some more warm clothes. But let's leave that for now. It's not a necessity. Uh, can't sell the sunflower. Or the sunflower oil. I don't have that yet. Um... I can start exporting the salt though. I'm, I'm producing the salt now. That's maybe a good idea. We've got 400 in storage at the moment. Where is it stored, by the way? Oh, it's just here by the salt works. I think I'm going to maybe send the salt to the storage over here. So let's just make that 2,000. I'm going to change these ones also to 2,000. So that we can fill the warehouse all the way up. It's got a capacity of 10,000 items in total. So let's just change all of that uh, to 2,000. Um, I've got more thatch and nails now. Than, than I should have. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, okay, in any case, there we go. So I'm going to just leave it like that. I've still got 400 iron here, so that's enough iron to produce all the goods that we need on this side. Uh, when I get a messenger from another village, then I'll just buy some extra iron again. Okay, so we've got the lime kiln going here. Um, okay, so they are currently gathering the charcoal. I see I should have built this charcoal pile already, but it's fine. Let's just place one over here. Um, yeah, that should do. Okay, cool. Right, then they can start filling this up um, once the forestry is done. We've got quite a lot of charcoal left on this side in any case. So that's okay, the people just have to walk far now. And uh, I'm very eager to continue with uh, the stone paths here. It uh, looks quite nice. Well, not so much at the moment, but I think if you had to start laying out the paths everywhere, it, it will look really cool. So I want to get it more or less the same width. Okay, so it does uh, clip onto it, so that's really cool. bring it all the way down and it clips very nicely there uh, 
so kind of like overlapping a bit. Oh, that's gonna bug me. Okay, in any case, I'm gonna just go for it. There we go. Let's just do that. It's too much of a mission to fiddle with it now again. It is gonna be square with this path, so that's fine. Let's maybe consider getting another fisherman. We don't have any fish in storage. I want to also maybe see where I can build more of these um, farmer houses. I'm not going to start with the row houses yet. Okay, so I need uh, I need the limestone. And then I need the bricks as well, which I don't have one of either. So when I get the brickworks and the limestone up and running, then I'm going to start placing the row houses. So, but I definitely need to place a few more houses. So you know what, um, this is not a bad spot here, I would say. Uh, but uh, this is also a good spot. Okay, so this is not too far from the village square. So maybe Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's maybe place another four houses over here So I'm just gonna pull it so that it's square again Okay, right. I want to slightly extend it backwards. Uh, I think the width of the plot is fine. And uh, let's place the house over here. Okay. That's good. Right. Got currently 90 villagers. I'm gonna assign two workers here at the forestry. Right. And let's take two guys away from here. So it's going to be cool once we've opened up this whole space here and then we can extend the village towards this side. Uh, there is plenty of space this side in any case but uh, yeah, that's for future developments. The town's really starting to look cool. You see while they're busy building all the stuff that they're doing now, I want to start beautifying it a bit further. Right. I think I'm gonna just go for it. I want to place the church, but uh, let's uh, do another house before I place the church. Just want to get the square with the other house. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to place this house as well, and then I'm going to just go ahead and start with the church. So it only uses 1,200 stones, so that's not too bad. I want to keep it quite far from uh, the town hall. Uh, because I want to make like a little court or yard uh, You can probably call it a yard. It's gonna be like a graveyard slash entry to the the church That's a very old-school way of building it uh, But yeah, I think I'm gonna go for that. It is in the right time zone 1725 I think <laughs> Let's maybe do it like this so the idea initially was to build the barber surgery on this side, but I, I can, I suppose I can place it here in this little middle over here, and then I can do the church. Then I've got more space for the front uh, graveyard slash entry. Okay, so let's just, that's it's pretty much square enough, I think, so I'm going to just go with that. Here we go. 
And uh, I need to do some decorative buildings or trees or something over here. It's looking pretty dead. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and maybe do three of these cottonwood trees. I think that will make it look nice. And let's put some shrubs in there. Maybe like these dark rose bushes. Do a few of them. If I can squeeze a lilac bush in there, maybe do that as well. Uh, another one. And then one more. That's it. Okay, cool. And uh, let's place maybe a bench over here. I'm going to do two benches. Uh, so I really want to place a gazebo also here within the town square. I think I'm going to just go ahead and remove these items over here. And that's from the original camp store. It's pretty cool to see how it has transformed from the little camp that was here to what it is now yeah I mean just look at that town from I think 18 villages to 90 so let's go ahead and set the gazebo up in this space over here I'm going to place it kind of like this way towards the market area. Although I'm thinking I'm going to have to place more stalls here. Hmm. I want to keep it here. All the stalls together. So let's maybe just place the gazebo over here. Right. Okay, I'm just going for it. And uh, let's do a little birch tree. And a maple tree and an ash tree. Let's do the three different trees. I'm gonna do some two bushes over here as well. There we go. Okay, let's just fast forward this whole process. I've got the people working at the forestry over here. I've got the firewood going so they can start filling this up. We need the extra workers, but now they're starting to harvest, I think, on this side. Yeah, they did start here. I've got currently six builders working. I think I'm going to take one builder away and so that they can also help doing the labor work. On the crop fields i'm not getting any apples okay so it's a second here that we've got the apple orchard over here and there's still no apples um so i'm guessing it will be the year after maybe can't see any apples on the tree as well so yeah i'm assuming assuming it's going to be from the third year most likely so it's a good thing that i started planting these trees so that they can grow and we can start making some income from this. Or well, just food for the town, at least. Okay, so. These guys want the charcoal, which I'm happy to supply. I've got 3,000 of that in my export stock. So there we go, that's 150 coin. Uh, don't think I've got the sunflower oil yet. Oh, I've got 560. So let's maybe say 500, that should be fine, and uh, don't have apples yet, I've got 400 honey, so I'm going to go ahead and sell the honey as well, always nice to trade with this guy. Uh, 
Okay, cool. I think that's pretty much it. I suppose I can start exporting clothes also in the near future. Once I've got a more stable production. Uh, but uh, let's just go ahead and put some, bring some more iron in. Uh, let's go for 300. Okay, so I'm bringing in currently 240, 280 coin I'm getting in. And I'm um, using 36 so I can buy another cow, I would say. And then I make uh, just over 200 profit. Oops, only one. Here we go. Cool. So then I'm going to have 8 cows. Got my butter and cheese over here. Well, it's out of stock. The people are going through it quite quickly. They're building the tannery over there. So the lime works is done. I can get the laborers to also fill it up with the water and the quick lime. I've got the little platform here so they can get easy access to the water. But now they're harvesting all the crop fields over here. I've got two workers at the oil factory, so I think I'm going to keep it that way now. My production has increased quite significantly with the, the sunflowers. I've got all my workers on the farm. I've got five and then another five doing the labor work. So I think that's sufficient for now. I've got only those two crop fields left. And they've got three months left, so I'm sure they can manage with that. Oh, this guy's loaded with the pumpkins. Just check that out. That's pretty cool. And we've got the tannery. I'm gonna just assign the laborers to work here as well. Let's maybe do two batches, I think. I'm going to have to let the forestry also start producing the bark. So this is something you've got to do manually. If you're not familiar with the game and you're not familiar with bark, bark you've got to assign from the forestry. You've got to assign it to them to collect the bark. And uh, yeah, I think I'll just assign them maybe to get 1,500 on each, in each forestry. And uh, I think that will be enough for the tannery. I've got plenty of stone now. The stoneworks camp is doing very well. Um, I've got five workers working there. That's probably why. So they're starting to build the road here now. As you can see. Really nice. So oh, it's not looking too bad. That little bit of stone that's going through. Oh, there we go. Okay. It just looked like it was going through there. But now it's nice and straight. Okay, cool. Yeah, that looks much better. Okay, so we're slowly paving up the place. I think the next step would be to maybe make a paved road going through this side. And, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna just leave it there for now. Okay, these guys really need to start gathering the charcoal now. I mean, I've got the limestone. Maybe I'm going to just unassign one or two of the workers over here. Let's just do that. Leave three workers here for the stoneworks. We've got enough of both of them at the moment in any case, so I don't want to assign too many. Uh, no apples. No. No apples. I'm not sure when the harvesting, harvesting time is for the apples in any case. I think it's going to correspond with the crop fields, but, uh, so there's still nothing here. I'm 
going to maybe just go ahead and place the other two houses that I want on this side. I really like this uh, compact style of building the city. Like I've mentioned before, it just looks nicer and uh, I feel it's more organized. I can track everything a little bit better. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's another one. And uh, let's just place one over here as well. Okay, I think this should be fine. More or less like that. Okay, cool. There we go. All set up. I think that's a uh, square enough. Town is operating in full steam. Uh, I think it's important to maybe put up another water point. And uh, I think I'm going to do the stone well this time. And... Uh, to do the zone well in the middle of the town square, I think is a good call. Right. So, let's maybe go with that. Just place it more or less here. That still leaves us with enough space for the courtyard at the top. For the church and then also the market stalls at the bottom. I'm going to just go with that. And uh, let's place a spruce tree over here. I think to have some shade over the the water point will be good that's it and uh, we've got another messenger from the Rukachi which is great that's good money for us so let's just go with that uh, another 3000 charcoal thank you very much and uh, we're gonna sell the sunflower oil as well this time we've got 800 in stock so I'm gonna go with that so that's just under 300 that we've got that we can sell uh, we've got 400 uh, in the export stock. I've got enough other food, so I'm going to go ahead and sell the honey. There we go. Now that's a very good income we're getting there. Okay, so that's almost 340 coin. And uh, very much needed, as you can see. Let's take another 200 here, and I'm going to add another cow, just one more cow please, there we go, perfect. Okay, so once we're going to start selling the shoes, you're going to really see the money climbing. So now with the sales that I'm doing now, with the sunflower oil and with the charcoal, uh, that's my two main selling commodities. Uh, but that keeps everything stable with them in regards to the money. And uh, then of course I've got the honey. And I get my money for the honey. And it's winter time now. So I must just see and double check that I've got all the the seasonal workers. I've got them closed. I think I've got it here by the farm. Also, yeah, that's good. So that's closed. And I must just make sure that the thatchery... Okay, the thatchery is closed. Okay, I think we're good. I'm gonna just go ahead and assign the workers here to start collecting the bark. Um, I think let's just make it 2,000 maybe. I'm gonna do 2,000 bark on this side and then also 2,000 on that side. Yeah, 
Yeah, the town is looking really nice, starting to buzz. Just under 100 now, the church is going up. So we've got all the goods that we need uh, for the church. And then once it's built here, I'm going to go ahead and start laying out the courtyard here. So you can see I've placed the, the spots for the graveyards, I've placed it here. We didn't get any casualties yet. It's, it's all empty graves at the moment. I've got 700 sunflower left there. I've got 500 here. So that will give me another 2400 oil. I uh, don't have any storage I think. No. And I've got my 800 over there. So that's pretty decent. So with the storage we've got here. That's 2400. 3400. And that will make up 4200. So I've got 4200 sunflower oil in total. But that's really cool. I mean that's more than enough to, to sell from January till August. When we start producing the next sunflower oil. So I think I've hit a sweet spot now. And uh, once I've got another crop field, I can make the quantities more that I sell with the sunflower oil. I can probably push it up to a thousand. Uh, I've got my five builders here. Is there anybody without work? Only, oh, there is men looking for jobs. Okay, let's assign another guy over here because we've got the seasonal workers off duty now. We've already got two families that settled in here. There's two young married couples, it seems like it. Or one young married couple and then an older couple over here. Yeah, it really looks like a like an ant nest with all the people going here. So yeah, there's all my goodies that I've got. I've got my sunflower oil here. We're gonna soon have the beef as well and the fish. I think I need to assign another fisherman though. So we've got someone from Balaclia. We can only sell 730, so I'm gonna just go with 700. And uh, anything else? Not really. Um, Okay, I will have leather soon, but I rather want to sell the shoes instead of the leather. Get way more money for the shoes. Mm, let's just go ahead and maybe buy, buy another cow. Okay, so how many cars do I have currently? There's nine at the moment. I've got two bulls. I'm considering changing this one to an ox and then also sending it to the salt works. Okay, I'm gonna wait until this bull has reached one year because as soon as the bull is one year old um, they can breed with the cows. So I need at least one mature bull so that we can continue uh, getting more calves into the cow shed. Uh, so let's just leave it there for another two months and then I'm gonna send the one bull I'm gonna send to the salt works and then maybe appoint another guy to work here at the salt works because then we can also need the salt works for the tannery we currently have limestone here uh, we're still waiting they're still filling up don't know how much they needs to be in though i'm not really sure 
Let's maybe point another guy over here. Seems like we need some more limestone. Oh, shame. So they're collecting it all the way. Have to walk towards this side over here. There's not a lot of limestone left here. But there's another batch of 10,000, so that's okay. Church is progressing very nicely. I've got all the building material that they need. So. And then like I said, once that's set up, then I'm going to do the little courtyard. This little town square is going to look very nice once it's completed. I think let's maybe start doing the paved road over here. There we go, I think that's pretty square. Okay, cool. <coughs> Church is going along very nicely. Looking a little bit different than what I can remember. For some reason. Might not have changed. Yeah, I think I need to start assigning a worker over on this side by the tannery. Well, I should rather wait until we've got enough cows. And then, of course, I need an, a butcher. I don't even have a butchery yet. I'm not sure where I'm going to place that, though. Is the butchery? Oh, there we go. They call it the slaughterhouse. This might be a very good space uh, for the slaughterhouse, okay, because it's close to the whole produ production chain over here. So they, they're going to have the hides to send to the tannery. Just right across this little space here. And then I'm going to put paved road in between the buildings. And maybe a few trees. I think that would look nice. So let's just go with that. Okay, I've got someone again from Durkachi. These people love to trade with me. And I love to trade with them. Definitely make most of my money through them. <clears throat> Okay, perfect. And pretty soon we're going to have the shoes up here as well. So you can see here, if I had to do 100 shoes. Okay, so that's 100 shoes. You get 32 coin. And with 100 sunflower oil, you get 18. So that's almost double the amount that I get for the shoes. Of course, it's a much more extensive produ production line. Uh, but you do get a lot of shoes out. So you can make good money with that. See all the little blossoms coming out here now in springtime. Okay, so I'm gonna convert this bull to an ox and I'm gonna send it down to the salt works, and then that will also help us to just produce the salt a little bit quicker. And I think I'm gonna sign another worker over here and just go for it. And uh, we've got a church up now. Okay, it's, it's looking the same as what I remember. 
was just during the building process it looked a bit different okay so let's set up the fencing this seems like the appropriate fencing to place okay let's extend it to just need to make sure that it's square though okay let's let's extend it to run about here so that there's a little bit of an alleyway going through and maybe do it like that yeah there we go i think that's fine and uh, i want to first set up the archway so that it doesn't overlap when we build the other fans I think that's pretty square, right, okay, I'm just going to go for that, and we can place it over here, the fence, there we go. I think that should do the trick okay so then my idea is to build a, a pavement a paved road uh, in this little stretch over here so let's just do that first maybe oh you see this archway is going to be a problem this is going to be a problem I think I'm going to remove this just for now at least, and see if I can place it after I've done the paved road. So let's pull it all the way through. There we go. And uh, then I want to do the pave road going in. I think it's going to look pretty neat, you know, once it's done. Let's just do it like that. Oops. Okay. I was saying it's overlapping there with the building. There we go. No, no. That's it. Okay, right. So I think what I'm going to do is just to leave that until the road is done. And then I can see how I can decorate the rest of the courtyard. But uh, I've got the right idea going there. It's looking more like a central town now with the church being up as well. But I'm still gathering the limestone over here. Just maybe a sign of work here as well. I'm gonna just go ahead and sell another 3000. The messenger is still here, so I might as well. They're just building these two houses. And then it's on to the stone walls and all the paved roads, as well as the slaughterhouse. I would have loved to build the row houses against the, uh, the river on this side, but the slope is too steep, as you can see. And if I had to place it here, they will tell you it's uneven. But that's not going to work. It has to be much higher up. But I think I'm going to just go ahead and extend the row houses towards this side. You can build, build like a second uh, town square with the row houses around it. And then we can do the little market stalls in the middle. I 
think we should be getting apples now um, from this orchard over here okay because you can see the blossom so that must be a sign of it that it's going to produce the apples Yep, yeah, so the salt is definitely getting produced quicker now that I've assigned a second ox over there. I just took a chance to send a second uh, export uh, of, of charcoal. But uh, yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> but the money is looking much better, definitely. The town is almost becoming profitable. I think it's what now, five or six years later. Yeah, that's it, five years since the settlement has started. I think by the time we reach the next year, this should be a profitable town because then we're going to have more coin, I believe, than what we had when we started. Uh, so here we've got the messenger again so as i've said they love to trade with me there's another 1500 charcoal and we can do another 600 sunflower oil and let's maybe just do some extra iron maybe just 100 and i'm gonna go ahead and purchase another cow we slowly uh, achieving the capacity but uh, now I feel like I might want to buy a little bit more because there's 11 now because once I get to 20 then I can start sl slaughtering any uh, let's say surplus of cows that we've got um, I'm making 175 or 180 on this trade. So let's maybe get four cars over here. Yeah, I think I'm going to just go with that. And then I've got 15 cows in the cow shed. And uh, I'm going to maybe just make it. I'm going to change the livestock limit to 18. Okay, so then as soon as it gets to over 18, then they can start slaughtering any access cows that we've got and I'm going to just protect the bulls okay so we need them to do the hard labor I'm going to start assigning them to plow the fields here as well So I do want to keep one or two fields open as a fallow field um, for the cows to graze on. Right, so I'll just say maybe with my hemp farm, I'll do one hemp farm. I'll say don't plow. And uh, with this one maybe I'll also say don't plow. There we go. So then that means we've still got fallow fields for the cows. Uh, I think it's also about time to start ordering the plow, so I'm going to go ahead and order two plows. Oh, okay. I can't order the plows until I got the oxen. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Let's just leave that for now. I'm going to just fast forward this whole process. So we can finish up with this little house over here. Uh, the forestry has really done a very good job in clearing out the wood over here. And they're still gathering lime. My goodness. Just taking forever. 
I think we're going to just go ahead and sign another guy over here. And we finally reached 100. Over 100 now with the new family settling in. We're still wait, waiting for the height in any way, so there's no rush really uh, to get the limestone going. Starting to lay all the paved roads over here. I really love the paved roads that they've done, man. <laughs> I've been waiting for this for such a long time. Uh, let's just appoint another fisherman over here. These sunflower crop fields look so nice, even from afar. There we go, another paved road done. Starting to look like a proper city now. And we've got already 16 cows. We're going to start producing our own meat, our own beef meat, and then also getting the hides uh, that we need for the tannery. I'm still not sure how much of the limestone we need though. And I've already set up the little gazebo and the people are loving it. You can see them just chilling there on the inside. Got the little trees growing and the flowers all around. And uh, I've got my water point over here. The stone well. Let's just go ahead and maybe place some bushes over here. And I'm going to just go ahead and place the birch tree here as well. Maybe. Why not? Let's just go for that. Here we go. Just need to make sure that my food production production is still looking good. It should be fine because all my houses has got crop fields. It's only really becoming a problem once you start building the houses that doesn't have crop fields. Then you've got to start adding the crops, the the crops here by the farm and also the orchards. But uh, I'm curious to see if I'm going to start producing the apples now. Okay, so this is going into the third year since we've planted these trees so I'm sure they're gonna get the apples this year and what I'm not sure about if one worker is enough to harvest all the apples Okay, cool. So I've got the paved road now here by the church. So now I can determine how I want to lay out the rest of it. So obviously I want to place the burial plot and do it like an old school type of church. I just need to make sure that it's aligned properly. Uh, so this is a good idea for you. If you're not sure where to place the burial plots. You can always do something like that. Make a little courtyard for the church and just starting to place the burial plots all around. I'm trying to do it uh, as neatly as possible. Go. 
Tiens. I can do maybe three on the side. I'm gonna see if I can fit in three on that side as well in a row. Okay, let's just do the one side for now and uh, then I want to definitely place don't, I'm not sure if I want to do the cotton with though um, maybe the ash tree yeah let's just go for that do an ash tree on this side and uh, I'm gonna do the same on the other side and uh, we can do a few shrubs at the bottom Let's just do maybe a bell. <laughs> uh, the church has got a bell, but uh, let's just do like an extra bell for aesthetic reasons. Here we go. Nice. Oh, there goes the priest. Uh, so we've got our priest. And uh, as you can see, it's a type of Catholic church. As they all stop in front of the church, and they do a little cross. I kind of like the little animation that they do there. That's pretty cool. Really like that. But thank you so much, guys, for watching this episode. That is me for today. And uh, we're going to go on to the next episode, which is episode number six. And then I think I've got everything that I'll need to do the, the shoe production and the leather production. And then, uh, yeah, that is when I'm going to start making the really big bucks. Um, so once I get to that point, the shoes is my main trading commodity. So uh, please remember to subscribe if you're new. And uh, if you have been watching, thank you so much. And then I will see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.